In this video, I'll walk through the three ways you can reset a Synology NAS and why you would choose a specific method. As an overview, this slide describes what happens with each reset method. If you already know what type of reset you would like to do, you can go to that specific section using the timeline of the video or by clicking on the specific chapter listed in the description below. Reset method 1, or what Synology calls Mode 1 Reset, would be used if you forgot your administrator password or you want to reset your network settings. Your data isn't impacted using this method. However, backing up your data is recommended and Synology provides tools like Hyper Backup that make the process nice and simple, so please make sure you do your backups. To implement this method, you need to locate the reset button on your Synology NAS. In my case, I have a DS920 Plus and the reset button is located on the back of the NAS next to the LAN 1 port. I'm using a paper clip to press and hold the reset button for approximately 4 seconds until I hear a beep. Next, I'll bring up a browser and use the site findsynology.com to locate the Synology NAS on my network and click on the connect button to load the login page. Here I can log in with a default admin user which has no password assigned, so I'll leave the password field blank and click sign in. Next I'm prompted to set a stronger password, so I'll enter one in and then click submit. I'll now sign in with the admin user and the password that I just set up. I'll simulate the steps to take if I forgot the password for the administrator account that I set up during the initial installation process. I'll go to the control panel, select user, click on the user I would like to work on, and click edit. I'll enter in a new password and click OK. Next, I'll log out of the admin user and then log in with the user that I just reset the password for. Finally, I'll disable the admin user, which I don't need to be active anymore, and click OK. Along with enabling the admin account in its default state, Network settings are reset as well, some of which are listed here. These can be reconfigured by going to Control Panel, then selecting Network, although I won't be going through these settings in this video. The second reset method, which Synology calls Motu Reset, will wipe Disk Station Manager, or DSM, from your Synology NAS, essentially removing all system configuration and leaving you at a point where you need to reinstall DSM and reconfigure your Synology NAS once again. This method won't impact your data, but again, backing up your data is recommended. The implementation is similar to the first method where you need to press and hold the reset button for approximately four seconds until you hear a beep. In addition, you need to release the button and then press and hold the reset button once again for an additional four seconds until you hear three more beeps. In a few minutes, the NAS will reset and you'll be able to reinstall DSM. You can proceed when you see that the status light is blinking orange. So here I'm using findsynology.com to search and locate the Synology NAS. And we'll see the status of configuration lost, which is an indication that the reset was successful. I'll click connect to proceed with the installation of DSM, which I'll fast forward through. In the end, you'll have a clean installation of DSM with your data preserved on your hard drives. The third reset method is a complete factory reset, which sets your Synology NAS back to its original manufacturer settings and completely removes the data from your drives. This is the reset method you should use if you plan to give away your NAS, particularly if you plan to include the hard drives. To implement this method, Log in to DSM as an administrator. Then go to Control Panel and into Update and Restore. Here, click on the Reset tab and click on the Erase All Data button. Check the box that you understand that all data will be deleted forever and won't be recoverable, then click the Erase All Data button. Next, enter the password of the administrator you are logged in as and click Submit. Your Synology NAS will restart and be back at the original manufacturer settings where you can reinstall DSM once again. Here I'll scan my network using findsynology.com and the Synology NAS displays a status of not installed, indicating the factory reset was successful. 
I'll click Connect to proceed with the installation of DSM and fast forward through the installation process. Once done, the Synology NAS will have a new installation of DSM with the hard drives erased and needing to be reset up once again. So there you have it, the three ways to reset a Synology NAS. I hope you found this video informative, and if so, please make sure to like it and consider subscribing to help support this channel. Thanks for watching.